So now we're going to print our sheets and our drawings to a PDF file so that they can actually be printed off or saved um, in uh, a, a format that's not in Revit, so it could be viewed on any PC. So uh, once the drawing is completed, and this is the one we've been working on uh, recently, so um, I've added a few bits to it. So um, we've got the bits we put in last time, which was our north symbol and our, our scale bar. I've also started writing in some notes, and any notes within a drawing will be very specific to that type of drawing. So uh, in this box up here, you get some general notes that you would see uh, or on a drawing anyhow, um, and then you might actually have some uh, building regulation control notes uh, on the side or anything that's very specific to this type of drawing. So um, once you've got your drawings uh, where they are, make, double check, make sure you've got all the bits and pieces down here completed, so the project, the sheet, the client, things like the date and who it's drawn by and stuff like that. Uh, this is going to be drawing A101. This is the number of that drawing. So to print, uh, we just literally go into file. Uh, we're going to print and we're going to print to a, uh, a PDF file. So normally in this box up the top here, you've got a few choices. We're going to Microsoft print to PDF. That's the one we want to be on there. Once we get into there, before we click OK, we just want to double check and make sure that uh, the printing parameters are set up correctly. Um, so in here, make sure we've got the print range, current windows, fine. Uh, we've got these settings, uh, and it's, this setting is called default. Go into setup. And in this part here, we definitely don't want to be fit to page. We want to be zoom. So click on zoom, and you want to double check and make sure that this is at 100%. Uh, if it's done at fit to page, uh, it might not print to the exact right size. Yep, so we want to make sure we're into there. The other thing we want to do up the top here is paper, uh, where it says letter, just click on A3 because that's the paper size uh, that, it will, that it will come from. So we do need to make sure that both A3 and in the zoom, that the zoom is 100%, uh, and those two are selected like that. Once we've done that, we can click OK, and then we can click OK on here. This is going to ask for it to be uh, saved somewhere, so I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Uh, so I'm going to go into my desktop, and I'm going to call this file um, uh, the same as what the, the, the project's number is, uh, the drawing number is on here. So uh, this drawing number here is A101. We can see this down here, and uh, the sheet is a floor plan. So into here, I'm just going to call this sheet A101, or whatever your number is down there. Uh, and now I'm going to call this uh, floor plans. And you can have lots of different ones of these. You can have floor plans, floor plans with dimensions, elevations, sections, and the rest of it. So you'll have a different set of drawings for each. Uh, once I've done that, just click Save. And that's now saved into there. So if I go into my uh, desktop file on here, you can see that there. And you can see I've got a PDF file, A101 floor plans. So I can now open that up, and that'll open up in the browser. And there's my drawing good to go. Uh, so once you've got your drawings uh, all completed and all printed to files, they can then be sent uh, via email or placed on Teams somewhere um, for other people to view them as well. And that's how you print to files.